Welcome to a thought for today with me, Bro Steph. Today is November 7th, 2023, and we're going to be reading out of Genesis chapter 22, verses 1 through 12. Genesis 22, 1 through 12. Now it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham. And he said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am. Then he said, take now your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and Isaac, his son. He split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said to his young men, stay here with the donkey. The lad and I will go yonder and worship, and we will come back to you. So Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac, his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and the two of them went together. But Isaac spoke to Abraham, his father, and said, My father. And he said, Here I am, my son. Then he said, Look, the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. So the two of them went together. Then they came to the place of which God had told him. And Abraham built an altar there, placed the wood in order, and he bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched out his hand, took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. So he said, here I am. And he said, do not lay your hand on the lad or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. So here's today's comment on this scripture. Because God kept his promises time and time again, Abraham trusted him, even as today's passage shows, when instructed to sacrifice his precious son. Abraham's faith was so strong, in fact, that he told his servants to wait for him and Isaac to return after they worship God. How has the Lord been faithful in your life? Try compiling a written or mental list of the times he has kept his promises to you, remembering his past faithfulness helps us trust the Lord in the future. So today, here's your action step for today. Make that mental list or write it down. Of all the times God's been faithful to you and has kept his promises to you. And then remember back looking back on your life, all those things he's done for you. It will help you have faith in him and trust him moving forward. And this is Bro Stuff. Nothing left for me to say except to remind you about this one important thing. Keep looking up. Jesus is returning. And I'll see you tomorrow. That'll be Wednesday. Have a great evening. Bye for now.